Well, good morning, gentlefolk, and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Theodora and the Byzantine Empire. Now, uh, as I believe, we were going for a cultural victory, and uh, last session, we lost a few of our neighbours and fellow civilizations. Uh, splendid. So, um, just reacquainting myself with where it was. So, on the tech tree, we was going for... Navigation, Architecture, Economics, Metallurgy. Okay, so is we heading towards rifling at all? Or do we already have it? No, we are heading towards it. Okay, that's fine. We've got musket men. But uh, we are going for a cultural victory. And you are all doing research. Because there's nothing to build. That works as well. So, <coughs> instantly, next turn we... Alexander, as I can see, has grown a lot. So that's the perceivable threat. Well, a golden age. Excellent. That's right. We were uh, thinking there was going to be a war at the end of the last episode, didn't we? So, but anyway, we're into a golden age. That's good. <coughs> still... Still nothing to build. Here we go. Not going to say anything. No. Okay. So something's looming on the horizon by the, by the looks of things. I meant to say by the sound of things, but there's no sound. So by the looks of things. Ah, as that. Ah, yes, we had this previously as well. We had this previously. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Okay, losing grass with our city-state, I suppose uh, we should, uh, well, I was going to say we should reassess those, but I'd like to keep my money in case war breaks out. You would be handy, though, you don't have a lot of troops. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to actually build a couple of more cannons. Cannons, cannon, can. What kind of? Oh, there you are. Just as a bit extra protection. And by the time those are built, navigation will be done. So we perhaps build a bit of a navy. I can upgrade that one ship that we, the the ship that we have. <laughs> Oh, and we can get a policy. Excellent. Oh, we met already still meeting city-states. Excellent. And we met Sedone, allied with nobody. Irrational. Okay. And a policy. So, really, we should... Uh, what do we get if we complete this? Adopting all policy departure will provide 20 percent discounts on all pieces of religions, units, uh, buildings with faith and holy sites, providing plus three gold and plus three culture. Excellent. And this uh, theocracy, temples increase this gold output by 10%. Well, that will be handy if war breaks out. Excellent. Splendid. So let's uh, basically see what Alexander does. Colombia longs for culture. Well, we might be able to um, assist you there. Vatican City in Arabia no longer allies. We'll get navigation next turn. We are friends with the letter. Mm, allied with Greece. No. So 
So that'd come charging forward as well. <clears throat> no longer friends with Signo. Oh, hum. What? The winds and the waves are always on the side of the ablest navigators. Okay, Barbarian Musket Men. Okay, well you're going to go here, which is... Stone Quarry Road, Grassland River. Okay, so you want flat. Thank you. You can go there. And set up and alert. <coughs> Barbarian Musket Men. Well... Oh, we can build a seaport now. Can you be upgraded? You can. I can you upgrade to a frigate. Then you shall be. Now what do I do with that m barbarian? Hmm. So what happens next turn? So somebody has architecture. Run away! <laughs> okay, so we have a cannon. Okay, well, you can go on alert. Now, where to put you, sir? You can go... Hmm. Probably on this hill there, so if we give you some... rough terrain, terrain treatment. Set up and alert. And we've built the road to Lisbon, so that's good. So you can be automated. <clears throat> Not that I think there's a lot for you to do, to be fair. So what can you build? Bugger all. Okay, research it is then. Actually, I'm going to redeploy my troops. I think I'm going to move this musket man to here. Put the cannon behind. So if I move you to there. Move you to there. Set up and alert. That musket man's back. Okay. I don't want to be dealing with, most, with barbarians at this stage in the game. Really? Let's see if he runs away again. <clears throat> now we might turn the cities over to cultural... Oh, I've got too many troops. <sighs> your empire can support 20 units. You are over that limit by one, which decreases production in your cities by 10%. Well, that's... that's uh, that, that affects research. <clears throat> How many workers do I have? I have three workers. I don't know if relevant those are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, come forward. Right, you, sir, can be deleted. You, sir. You could be deleted. There we go, and now I'm not back. I'm back under my limit. Excellent. Aha! Oh, you have uh, 
Hmm. Oh well, I'm gonna spread it anyway. I think that's where you was going. I'm not 100% sure. Unit needs orders. What, this one? No. swimming around? No. Oh, so now you've lost. Okay, so we'll carry on spreading that. Right, sir. You can't be hit by anything yet. However, you can be assaulted. Well, it's a bit of XP. Um, can I cut off his retreat? If he goes that well okay okay you've built seaport that's excellent uh, another another boat I will build another boat <clears throat> built the Kremlin and losing grasp on Kuala Lumpur. No longer an ally of Singapore and Hanoi Alliance shenanigans. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack with a cannon just to give it some XP. And he can't reach. Okay. You reach, you can. Excellent. So you can now all come back to where you was. And you still got religion to spread. Um Come to Ragusa. You've 